Hi, I'm Dr. Shoykot. Today I'll discuss about chikungunya, which has already become a new public health concern in addition to dengue. So, what is chikungunya? Chikungunya is a mosquito-borne viral disease characterized by febrile arthralgia caused by chikungunya virus. Now the interesting fact is, why is it called chikungunya? Because the word chikungunya is derived from the Makonti language, which means that which bends up. In reference to the classical bending phenomenon of chikungunya due to the involvement of the back and lower limb, which forces the patient to stoop down and bend forward. That's why it is called chikungunya. Now this chikungunya is a RNA virus, which is an alpha virus of Togaviridae family and is transmitted by the bites of infected mosquitoes and the most commonly involved mosquitoes are Aedes aegypti and Aedes albopictus which also transmit the dengue and they are principally day biters but may bite anytime. This chikungunya is actually a virus of African origin but it has rapidly spread from Africa to Asia. It now appears to have been spread by the travelers as there is a rising popularity of adventure travel among the citizens of western countries. So now what is the etiopathogenesis of this chikungunya?
So, in chikungunya, the period between exposure to an infection and the appearance of the first symptom, that means the incubation period is 2 to 12 days. Periosteum and endosteum of the affected bones induce complement activated immune complex mediated arthritis. Later on, involvement of the synovial joint leads to frank arthritis without bone or cartilage destruction. So, the exact pathogenesis of chikungunya is not yet clear, but we can correlate in this way. When the infected mosquito bites the human, then the virus are introduced into the skin and bloodstream. And this virus replicates into the fibroblast of the dermis and disseminates through the blood vessel to the several tissues. Then this viral replication occurs in the target tissues and the target tissues are mainly skin muscle and joints and maybe liver spleen or meninges in case of new units with some other underlying conditions and this after this viral replication in the target tissues there is increased viremia and due to this increased viremia there is release of inflammatory cytokines in the blood vessels which causes fever and sometimes there is perivascular lymphocyte coughing and extravasation of erythrocytes from the capillaries so after all these events then this inflammatory cells are recruited to the infected tissues and when it goes to the skin may cause maculopapular rash and when it goes to the muscle may cause myalgia backache or back pain and when it goes to the joints then it causes arthritis or arthralgia and the joints including the fingers wrist elbow knee ankle and toes are inflamed in response to the viral replication and inflammatory infiltrates now the case definitions of chikungunya So, chikungunya should be suspected when a person develops sudden onset of fever, joint manifestations and rash. And the cases can be categorized into three categories. The first one is possible case, second one is probable case, third one is confirmed case. So it will be called as possible case when there is only clinical criteria. Now the question is what are the clinical criteria? The clinical criteria are fever more than 101 degree Fahrenheit or arthralgia or arthritis not explained by any other medical conditions and then probable case when a patient meets clinical and epidemiological criteria. now we know the clinical criteria. what are the epidemiological criteria? the epidemiological criteria are residing or having visited to the epidemic areas and having reported transmission within 15 days prior to the onset of illness and then confirmed case when there is laboratory criteria irrespective of clinical presentation and what are those laboratory criteria? those laboratory criteria are isolation of virus by cell culture detection of the rna by the reverse transcriptase pcr and demonstration of the rising criteria of the immunoglobulin g antibody in the samples so now the clinical features of chikungunya <laughs> Thank you.